<laughs> yeah, I saw he was here. Yeah. We're here today because we got a call a few months ago uh, to ask uh, a homeless veteran was being ill-treated by a local council and he was doing a protest march to London. The police turned up and threatened to arrest him as he was marching down the M1. So we got called and asked if we could come up and see him and launch a campaign on his behalf. We applied to hand in our petition with 50,000 signatures on it to Downing Street and they refused. They refused a homeless veteran who served his country for five years. So we're here today to meet up with veterans and some of the bikers that are descending on London today to hand the petition into the uh, gates of 10 Downing Street. And now we will speak about Julian Assange if you don't mind. When you reduce this stuff. I've got no sympathy or uh, affection for Julian Assange. Uh, about 10 years ago, WikiLeaks leaked the entire membership list of a British patriotic political party. A lot of people suffered, a lot of homes were wrecked, a lot of families were wrecked, people lost their jobs, all because of WikiLeaks. So the fact that he's finally been arrested and going to prison, I'm very, very happy about that. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Do you mind if we have your card? Just in case in the future. <laughs> okay, thank you. You'll be straight online shopping, you. <laughs> <laughs> no, because sometimes you need somebody to speak on the TV, you know? Yeah, that's right. We can, yeah, if you want. Stephen, did you get that? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> We want our country back. We want our country back. We want our country back. We want our country back.